Hello everyone, apa kabar? Greeting from Jakarta. My name is Nur Ali Vidya Nahar and first of all I'd like to thank you to the organizer of the conference ICBZ 2021. Today I would like to present the use of big data and social media to reduce asymmetric information in Islamic bank financing in Indonesia case. I am now a student of Master Management at Faculty of Economic and Business, Universitas Indonesia. And this is the outline of my presentation today. Number one, I begin by uh, telling you about the research background and the objective. Number two, literature review. Number three, research methodology. Number four, result and discussion. And number five, conclusion. My research background is the fact that right now Indonesia has dual banking system which is called Arsitektur Perbankan Indonesia 2004 which accommodates conventional bank as well as Islamic bank. But at the same time we also face the fact that uh, Islamic bank has a very low market share of Indonesian banking which is at 6%. And the other issue is about asymmetric information which become a common problem for uh, Indonesian bank right now. But we have also the opportunity of the implementation of big data and social media as the innovation in technology. My research objective is to discover the use of the social media of Indonesian Islamic bank and also, we want to discover the perception of customers on financing product of Islamic Bank. And the last is we need to reveal how the implementation of big data and credit scoring. And my research, we also have done some literature review, which include uh, the previous researchers on the topic, uh, some of them are Asyari and Rohim and Hamid et al. which state that interest income and loans is mostly the major source of the, the revenue of Indonesian bank. And Boateng Asongu in 2018 state that most credit market failures are attributed to information asymmetry. And also in the study of Deloitte in 2013, the advent of social media has altered the traditional relationship between business and customer, much as it has changed how individuals interact with one another. There is also a study from Yad et al. 2017 about peer-to-peer -peer lending platform which function as an agent between lenders and borrowers to reduce the information asymmetry which includes the search cost and signaling cost. And then Naim and 2019 researchers have stated that Islamic banking products, services and investment must be designed to enhance the level of social distributive justice, well-being and improvement in societies. And the study from the World Bank in 2019 state that big data can be implemented as credit scoring tool together with social media use. In the research methodology, we use a qualitative method of descriptive and content analysis based on a survey an review of some literatures that is from academic research journals, websites, social media platform, electronic database, and other relevant sources. The data was originally from uh, our survey that conducted in the month of May 2021. 
Uh, besides social media analysis, we also perform the simulation of big data implementation as credit scoring tools against historical data of bank financing. We perform machine learning based on logistic regression with six variables such as gender, age, customer type, term of financing, and area of disbursement. The data sample is data of Islamic bank financing guaranteed by guarantor company for period of 2015 until 2019. Now we come into the section of result and discussion on social media. In this research, the number of respondents are 103 people consisting of 67 male and 36 female. In terms of age, most of them are aged 21 until 40 years at 25.9% followed by 17 and 30 years age group at 30.1 persons and according to the religion mostly Islam at 97.1 percent and followed the rest are Christian at 2 percent point nine 2.9 persons for social media account ownership respondent has an Instagram account as many as 84.5 uh, percent followed by Facebook and at 83.5% uh, and Twitter at 47.9 uh, 47.6 percent this indicates that the Instagram and Facebook are the most popular social media in the same poll and indicates that uh, usually the respondent have more than one social media account at the same time Supporting my survey result, I also collect some information about the follower of the bank social media account and I got the following information as shown in the table. It is in here that PSE has the biggest followers that is uh, about 170,000 followers and followed by BNI Saria at 135,000 and then Bank Saria Mandiri BRI Saria and Muamalat at 45,000 as we see now that uh, the BSE is the merger entity of three banks that is BNI Syariah, Bank Syariah Mandiri, and BRI Syariah. Uh, at the time when we collect the information, we combine uh, the condition or the situation before and after the merger of those three banks. Of all respondents, only 90.4% follow the Islamic Bank social media account and of the 90.4 uh, persons about 40 percent stated that the bank's social media was quite active in updating and informing their financing product and as many as 35.1 uh, percent stated that islamic banks are not actively providing product information it means that uh, not more than uh, 50% uh, bank social media actively updating and forming their financing product. That's the, the most problem that we have right now. Next, we come into the last part of our discussion about big data implementation. From the logistic regression conducted, we can see that from the confusion metrics we get the following value tp as uh, true positive tn true negative false positive and false negative as the value shown from the values above we can get the accuracy 
precision, recall, and advanced score as shown in the table performance measure. For example, we can get the accuracy at 0.623 or 62% and the F1 score at 0.645 or 64% and this is reflect the accuracy level of the prediction engine that we have using the logistic regressions. And after we run the data processing, we also can get the, or we can develop the logistic regression equation as follows. That is, y as the function of probability of defaults equals to minus 0 0.51 x1 plus 0 0.03 x2 minus 0 0.016 x3 minus 0 0.0016 x4 minus 0 0.0012 x5 plus uh, 1.0606 x6. This model reflects the likelihood of the financing product get default that implies that the probability of 1 for good and 0 for bad financing is affected by log weight of coefficient number for its variables. It also shown here from the table that among the six variables, gender, term, sector, area, age, and customer type, only area which has not significant because the value is more than 0 0.05. As the conclusion, we can say the majority of customers still find out the banking information product from the traditional channel, such as from the bank branch bank sales or other sources. The usage of social media information is uh, far from uh, ideal as the source of information. And this also means that the bank customers has very little information related to financing product. And although the majority of the bank has the social media account only a few of the bank that update their product overview on the social media regularly so we should enforce the bank uh, more active in informing the product updating the status by the financing product that important for uh, develop their market share uh, and the other conclusion is big data together with social media strategy can be implemented by Islamic Bank and big data can help to predict good or bad customer in financing repayment probability. The research is meant to serve as a starting point for future research and discussion on using social media in Islamic Bank to become a social bank as defined by Deloitte in order to develop more business and market share. Thank you very much.